Now, one of the justifications Vladimir Putin has used for invading Ukraine was the need, as he put it, to protect Russia from what he claimed was a threat to Russian national security. In fact, his so-called special military operation has left many in Russia feeling less secure. In recent months, there have been drone attacks on military bases inside Russian territory, while regions bordering Ukraine now come under regular shell fire. Our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg has been to Russia's Belgorod region to see how life there has changed after a year of war. This part of Russia, more than any other, feels like a war zone. Near the border with Ukraine, they're digging trenches, building fortifications. A year ago, there was none of this. Or this. Close by, a market's been hit by a mortar. The people here say they now live in constant fear of Ukrainian shelling. But they forget to mention that it was their country that invaded Ukraine. Almost every day, says Arena, there are booms, bangs. People here are scared. We've traveled a lot across Russia over the last year. And I found that for many people, this is a virtual war happening on television, a long way away from them. But for people living here, just a few miles from the border with Ukraine, it's very real. They can feel it, they can see it, they can hear it. And no one here knows how it's going to end. War feels close when you meet men like these. The group calls itself Death to Spies after a notorious Stalin-era security unit. They're training a local defence force. They'll talk, but they won't show their faces. The local force will defend Belgorod region if there's an attack on Russia. But we will carry out any task we're given in any town, anywhere in the world. In the city of Belgorod, a few miles away, there have been explosions too. Like here at the airport. And a reported strike on a power station. Suddenly, people here are having to think about where to take cover. Shelters have been opened in cellars and in basements of apartment blocks. This one's pretty basic. One wooden bench and some water. In Belgorod, on display, the symbol of President Putin's war in Ukraine. I can remember Soviet Russia. I reported on post-communist Russia. But this is Z Russia. Gone, security, stability, peace. But state propaganda and patriotic messaging aim to convince Russians this war is just. For the motherland, it says, thank you for your heroic deed. And it seems to work. Take this family. Masha is a teacher, but works from home now. All Belgorod schools have closed due to the danger of shelling. Her dad has gone away. He's a volunteer fighter. As for mum Olga, she accepts the official narrative that it's Ukraine and the West who are the aggressors, not Russia. Russia didn't provoke this war. Russia didn't attack Ukraine. Russian people are peace-loving and generous. A Russian will give you the shirt off his back. Russians will never attack, only protect you. In Z Russia, invasion is liberation and war is peace. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Belgorod.